hi everyone. So the time has finally come and I have decided to do this. Welcome to the official channel of Vintage Premier League. My name is Drente or Drente or whatever. Uh, more about it later. I'm the owner of all this and if you have ever ordered any jersey from us, it was me who packed it up and shipped it out for you. We are currently in my studio and as you can see from around the room, this channel is going to be about football, Premier League, players, games, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but most importantly about football shirts, kits, jerseys, call it whatever you like. Also, make sure to watch this video until the very end because there are some funny clips you definitely forgot about and there might be a pretty decent Premier League shirt giveaway, just saying. So stay tuned until the end and in the meantime please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get all the content right away. Before we start I wanna say one disclaimer. English is not my first language so please be nice. Of course sometimes my pronunciation will be horrible, but that's life. I come from Slovakia which is basically Eastern Europe so I should be talking like this comrade. But I'm not. So just be kind, I don't care if someone says my name wrongly, it's all natural until you learn, so chill out. And as this is the first video on this channel, it obviously also marks a beginning of something new. I'd like to dedicate this first video to a player who as well has started something new right in the middle of his professional football career in Premier League, which honestly I would never ever ever throw away for nothing, but this player wasn't afraid to do that, and it's no one else then one and only David Bentley. David Bentley. Based on the information from Wikipedia or around the internet, David Michael Bentley was born on August 27th, 1984 in Peterborough. I hope the pronunciation was at least bearable. Arsenal. Bentley started his youth career at Romley Youth Football Club before moving to Arsenal age 13. As 16 years old, he trained with Arsenal senior squad before signing his first professional contract in September 2001. By January 2003, he was handed his first team debut coming on as a substitute for Colo Toure in 77th minute of a 2-0 FA Cup third round win over Oxford United. Bentley's first and only goal for Arsenal was a chip shot from the edge of the box over Mark Schwarzer in 4-1 FA Cup win over Middlesbrough on 24 January 2004. He played once in a league for Arsenal, starting a 1-1 draw against Portsmouth on 4th May 2004, in which he was substituted after 61 minutes for Nwang Fokanu. Pompey! Bentley managed to get 9 apps for Arsenal, scoring 1 goal. He also has a Premier League medal, despite the fact he only played once in a league in the mentioned game against Portsmouth. He also won the FA Cup with Arsenal, but due to packed squad full of legends such as Henri, Pires, Vieira, Bergkamp and so on, his playing time was quite limited. Norwich City loan Bentley went on loan and he spent the whole 2004-2005 season at Norwich City playing 26 league games and scoring two goals against Newcastle and Southampton. His season at Carroll Road was interrupted by a knee injury sustained in January. He returned to the team in April 2005, coming off the bench against Manchester United and playing a key role in Norwich's 2 0 win. Despite a late run of form, the Canaries were relegated from the Premier League on the last day of the season after a 6 0 defeat away to Fulham. Bentley returned to Arsenal in the summer of 2005 but submitted a transfer request citing his desire for first team football. In subsequent interviews, he also revealed that he was having personal problems at that point in his career and had lost his enjoyment for football, problems which he overcame later in his Blackburn Rovers career. He admitted to gambling addiction in the early stages of his career, reaching a peak of placing 100 bets a day. He got over his problems in 2005. He played 28 games in total for Norwich, scoring two goals. Desiring a permanent move, Bentley was linked with a number of clubs including Wolverhampton Wanderers before returning on a further season's loan to Blackburn Rovers on 31st August 2005. Blackburn Rovers In January 2006, Blackburn signed Bentley on permanent basis from Arsenal. In his first game after permanently signing for Blackburn, he scored his first senior hat-trick in 4-3 victory against Manchester United. Bentley went on to feature regularly for Blackburn in the 2005-2006 season and helped the club finish 6th in the league standings and qualify for the 2006-2007 UEFA Cup. 
The 2006-2007 season saw Bentley become more of a regular goal scorer for Rovers, including some stunning strikes in the Premier League. In Europe, a 25-yard volley against Salzburg in the UEFA Cup helped secure Rovers' passage into the group stage, where he also scored a last-minute winner against Wisla Krakow. Bentley's club performances attracted much transfer speculation, however, on 27 February 2007, despite being linked to a move to Manchester United, he agreed to a new contract that would keep him with Blackburn until 2011. Commenting on the new deal, Rovers manager Mark Hughes described Bentley as a great talent with big future, while chairman John Williams added that he is widely regarded as one of the best young footballers in the country. Bentley ended the season with 7 goals and 13 assists for Blackburn, the latter statistic also highlighted his creative importance to the team. He was later voted by Rovers fans as the club's player of the year. Bentley recorded similar statistics in the following season, scoring 8 goals and providing 13 assists again. Blackburn finished 7th in the Premier League, but did not qualify for European competition. Bentley's consistent performances for his club, however, ensured that he played in a series of post-season friendlies for England. But that was to be the Englishman's last season for Blackburn. Not long after the departure of manager Mark Hughes to Manchester City, Bentley showed his desire to leave again. Blackburn placed a valuation of the player at around 20 million euros. His stats for Blackburn from 2005 to 2008 were 133 abs, 21 goals and more than 30 assists. International career Bentley played for the England under-15 and under-16 teams, captained the England under-18 team and played for the England under-21 team. He recorded 8 caps and 4 goals with the under-21s. He was the first Englishman to score at the new Wembley Stadium in a match against the Italy under-21 team on 24th March 2007. In May 2007, following an impressive 2006-07 season for Blackburn, Bentley was called up for England B International at Tarf Moor for a match against Albania. After naming him as a starter, England manager Steve McLaren said Bentley had the potential to become England's new David Beckham. In that match, Bentley provided a cross for Stuart Downing's first goal and was involved in the build-up for Downing's second in the 3-1 victory for England. He received the Man of the Match award for his performance. The next day, he was named in McLaren's 26-man full England squad for the friendly match against Brazil and the UEFA Euro 2008 qualifier against Estonia. In June 2007, Bentley was called up to the England's under-21 squad for the 2007 UEFA European Under-21 Championship in the Netherlands. However, he pulled out of the squad citing fatigue, and England under-21 manager Stuart Pearce questioned the midfielder's commitment to the national team. This withdrawal led to Bentley being excluded from the senior England squad for the friendly against Germany, but he was selected for the UEFA Euro 2008 qualifiers against Israel and Russia. He made his senior debut when he came on as a substitute for Sean Wright Phillips against Israel, but was jeered by some of the fans due to the previous refusal to play for the under-21s. Bentley started for England for the first time in the friendly against Switzerland on 6 February 2008. He won 7 caps for England between 2007 and 2008. Tottenham Hotspur on 31st July 2008, Tottenham Hotspur announced their signing of David Bentley on 6-year contract for around 22 million euros. His market value at the time was 12 million euros and his highest ever was 17 million euros. Reports suggested that around 9 million euros of this fee was payable to Bentley's former employer's arsenal. Bentley made his competitive debut on 16 August 2008 away at Middlesbrough where Spurs lost 2-1. He scored his first competitive goal for Spurs in the 2008-2009 UEFA Cup first round tie against Wisla Krakow on 18 September 2008. He then scored his first league goal for Tottenham against his old club Arsenal with a 43-yard dipping volley in 4-4 draw on 29 October 2008. However, Bentley's form would suffer at Tottenham and after falling down the pecking order for both club and country, it was reported on 17 June 2009 that he was in talks to move to Aston Villa. Subsequently, it was revealed by Bentley and Aston Villa that this was untrue. 
The form of Aaron Lennon meant that Bentley was mostly used as a substitute for the start of 2009-2010 season, although he did score a free kick in Tottenham's 9-1 victory over Wigan Athletic, with the ball then going in off the back of Wigan's goalkeeper Chris Kirkland. Bentley finished his Tottenham career playing 62 games, scoring 5 goals in all competitions. Loan spells On 12 January 2011, Bentley joined Birmingham City on loan for the remainder of the season. He went straight into the starting 11 for the second City derby against Aston Villa and was named man of the match. Bentley scored his first goal for Birmingham in 3-2 win against Coventry City in the fourth round of the 2010-11 FA Cup. Bentley was cup tied for Birmingham's victory in the 2011 League Cup final. Described in the Birmingham Mail's season review as having flattered to deceive, he failed to establish himself in the first team and returned to Tottenham at the end of the season. He played 15 games for Birmingham, scoring one goal. On 31st August 2011, Bentley signed a season-long loan deal with Championship club West Ham United. He made his debut on 10 September 2011 in a 4-3 home win against Portsmouth, coming on in the 63rd minute for Julian Faubert. In October 2011, he was ruled out for six months following a knee operation and returned to Tottenham for treatment after playing five matches for West Ham without scoring a goal. In February 2012, Bentley was named in Tottenham's 25-man squad for the second half of the 2011-12 season, despite his injury. Despite featuring prominently in Tottenham's preseason under new manager André Vyash Boas, on 7 September 2012, Bentley was out on loan to Russian club FC Rostov. Bentley became the first Englishman to play in the Russian Premier League when he made his debut for the club on 15 September, playing the full 90 minutes in a 1-0 victory over Dynamo Moscow. He went on to start all four subsequent league matches for Rostov before picking up an ankle injury in 0-0 draw with Lokomotiv Moscow on 21st October. Bentley made 8 appearances for Rostov without scoring a goal. In January 2013, Bentley's former manager at Tottenham, Harry Redknapp, attempted to sign him on loan for Queen's Park Rangers as a potential supplier of crosses for Peter Crouch. However, the move did not take place because Crouch did not sign for QPR and Bentley's weekly wage of £50,000 was deemed too high. On 15th February, Bentley returned to former club Blackburn Rovers on a 93-day loan. He made his second Blackburn debut the next day, coming on as a substitute in 5th round FA Cup away win at Arsenal. He played 7 games for Blackburn during his loan spell and scored 0 goals. On 7th June 2013, the Premier League confirmed that he has been released by Tottenham Hotspur. On June 13th 2014, Bentley announced his retirement from professional football, age 29, having been without the club for over a year. He stated in an interview that he had fallen out of love with football, calling the modern game robotic due to the influence of social media and money, as well as predictable and a bit too calculated. He said that he wished to spend time with his three children. By October 2014, Bentley was already a co-owner of a restaurant in Marbella called La Sala, where he also moved with his family for a period of time to have his hands right on the business. Bentley has also invested in beach clubs and in a restaurant in Woodford Green, London with Raheem Sterling and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. In an interview with The Mirror, he revealed that more recently he has invested in a commercial cleaning company and an accounting firm, among others. He launched flooring company GFF Bentley & Howell, not quite what many would have expected of the man once dubbed the new David Beckham. Bentley said that his granddad had a flooring business for 25 years, so he comes from that stock, and his dad worked as a carpet fitter for his granddad, so there is a history there. Did we think when he was playing football that he would have a wood floor business? Most likely hell nah. Bentley also said he wanted to branch out into different businesses since he finished playing, and he has his mom and brother-in-law working for him and managing the showrooms, so it's a family business. He's gone in with his best friend Greg Forino and Greg Howell, who used to play for Tottenham, so it's all family and friends really. Bentley said he likes that approach to business, because you are dealing with people you want to deal with. And I can maybe finish up with his quote. I loved football, but I also love this side of things. It stimulates me. 
I was brought up to always be busy, always work hard and always do things you love and I'm someone who thinks with my heart rather than my head. In my head I should have carried on playing football but my heart told me it's time to go now. I do everything like that, so everything I do is passion project. And I'm in flooring because I love the people I'm working with. I just love it and I wake up energized. I'm still living the dream. So yeah, this was a video about David Bentley's unique story. What a great player he was, I mean honestly, some of the goals I found while making this video really surprised me because I haven't seen them before and that's a lot to say. David was a funny lad doing ice bucket challenge before it was cool, trolling news reporter live on TV, what a lad. I'm kinda sad that he lost his love for football because I wished for him to have longer football career, but nevertheless, I really think that David's story was a perfect pilot for a series What Happened To, which I plan to continue based on your feedback obviously. And if you really made it all the way to the end of this video and you would like to get this exact shirt of one and only David Bentley from Blackburn's 2006-07 season, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. That's all you need to do and I will pick one lucky person from the comment section. You can also ring a bell to get all the fresh content right away and lastly make sure to follow us on Instagram at vintage.premier.league. I think that's all I wanted to say so thank you all for watching and see you next time.